All right, what is up guys? Welcome to Racing Tips. In this one, I'm gonna be talking about where and when to attack in a race. Uh, most of these tips will apply to disciplines like cyclocross, road racing, and criteriums. However, I'm gonna focus on cross-country mountain bike racing as that's where my expertise is. Um, also, maybe if you're new to cycling or you've been riding for a few years, hopefully these tips will help improve your performance and your results. All right, so let's dive right into it. My top place of where to attack in a race is over the top of a climb. So when you get to the top of a climb, most people are gonna wanna be, or they're not gonna wanna put in as much effort as they had during the climb, right? They're gonna wanna take a swig of water or relax, prepare for the descent. Uh, and this is where you want to attack because right when people mentally are preparing for relaxing, that's when you wanna blow right past them and say, you know what guys, I'm about to make this even harder than the climb was. Uh, you either get on my wheel or you get dropped. Uh, that's really good place to attack and also on steep climbs on steep climbs the drafting effect is not going to be as significant and when I say drafting effect I'm going to say this a lot in this video uh, it's when you're sitting on a rider's wheel right so you're behind another rider um, the person in front is going to be doing much more work than you are because they're in the wind and the wind plays a really big role when the speed is high so on steep climbs, when the speed is much lower, the drafting effect is not as high, right? So they're gonna, you, you two are gonna be doing equal effort even if you know, you're right next to each other. So attacking on a steep climb is a good place to drop a rider that's not as strong as you. Uh, or or uh, in technical sections, maybe you are a trail rider, you ride a lot of enduro, technical terrain, and you're in a cross country race where you know roadies can sign up and still do really well because they have that fitness because cross-country races aren't that technical so if you get to a rocky section or a rudy section of trail and you know you have those skills you should attack in that area because you know you, you practice that more than they do um, also in a feed zone is a really good place to attack uh, when you're attacking through a feed zone your competition is going to have to put down their bottle or put away their food that they were eating and that little split second that they have to take to do that is gonna be enough for you to get a gap on them. Uh, another, pl uh, another time is after someone's taken a long pull, and by pull I mean they've been in front of you for a long time, you've been taking advantage of that drafting effect, they say, okay man, time for you to take a turn, then you just go full gas past them, they're gonna not be able to respond to that because they're tired after you know riding in the wind for so long, and you're gonna be able to get a gap on them. Uh, so, you know, these two tips, you, they're not going to get you any friends, for sure. People might think you're an asshole, but, you know, you're here to get results, you're here to win, and, you know, you might become friends at the end of a race or whatever, but racing is serious and racing is competitive, so you got to do what you have to do. Uh, also, when the group is going slow, so maybe the uh, group slows up, they're at the top of a climb. This footage that you're seeing in the background right now is of me in a NorCal mountain bike race, and we just get to the top of a climb. Everybody kind of looks at each other and I see that and I go right around the outside because I know the speed is going to be low. And in that split second that they hesitate in whether or not they're going to chase me down, I hold that gap for the rest of the race and I actually win because of that. So those are my top tips on where to attack and so where do I not recommend attacking in a race? Uh, don't attack into a headwind because the drafting effect is going to be much more substantial in this situation. Um, or on the flat when the speed is high. Basically, whenever the speed is high, you don't want to be attacking because it's going to be much easier for other people to work together to chase you down. One man going into, the, going into a headwind is never going to be able to outrun four or five guys who are working together in a headwind uh, or a, in a high-speed area. Um, also, don't attack at the start of a climb because people are going to be fresh, they're going to want to chase you down, and you're not going to really be able to get much of a gap or mu that much of an advantage on them. But yeah guys, that's about it for this video. If you want to see more related to cycling, fitness, and nutrition, remember to hit that subscribe box down below. And if this video helped you out, leave it a thumbs up. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.